again and today I want to talk about spot reduction, right? Um, I have to say as a personal trainer the most asked question I get is always related to spot reduction and it's the idea that you can exercise a particular group of muscles or a body area and the excess fat will disappear from that spot first. Um, but this actually is a false concept. So let's look at, I mean, the typical examples. You know, people come in, I want to waste again. I have this muffin top, you know, I want to see my abs, blah, blah. Or how about saggy upper arms? That's a favorite. And fatty thighs. So these are typical um, kind of areas that people are concerned about. Um, but really, the, the issue is the amount of overall body fat that you are carrying around. That's what's going to affect this, okay? And so you have to learn how to, how to lower your body fat percentage in order to address these. And you have to go at it for the whole body, okay? But the range, you know, if you're looking for a range, 18% maybe for guys, up to 24% for women, somewhere in there is a healthy range for body fat percentage, right? And, um, um, okay, what, um, what I often say to these people before I forget, I often say, you know, um, abs are seen in the kitchen, right? Or I might say, you can't outrun a bad, low fiber diet, okay? Now, as a personal trainer, I can help you strengthen your abs. I can help you strengthen your triceps or strengthen your legs. Um, I can build up, help you build up your muscle tissue percentage, and therefore you're going to be lowering your body fat percentage as you go. In fact, weight training is a very, um, kind of a very efficient way to do that. So let's look at who really is in charge of your body fat, okay? Let's look at the decisions that you make. And there are four areas in which you can make decisions. And this will always affect, affect your body fat. Uh, what kind of food do you eat? Is it good? Is it bad? Maybe you don't eat enough food. Maybe you eat too much food, whatever. Exercise. Do you exercise? Do you not exercise? And what kind of exercise do you do? Do you sleep? Do you, or are you sleep deprived? Do you not get at least seven hours of sleep at, at night? And if you have a lot of stress in your life, do you never control your reaction to that stress? So these four areas are your decisions and your decisions only. But your body reacts to every one of those decisions in each one of those categories and it will react with only three tools. Its decisions can only involve your hormones, your metabolism, and your biochemical balance. You know, and this is enzymes and all sorts of things, right? So, whatever you do in any of these four, is going to get a reaction in every one of these three, okay? In fact, that's the premise of my book. I love my little chart that I made. Um, so there are four areas of decisions and there are different things that you can do and they are decisions only controlled by you, then guess who takes over? Your body takes over. And I don't care how much you pray to those fat loss gods. Once you make decisions here, you have transferred all power over to your body and your body is your savior. It's going to use hormonal reactions, it's going to use um, biochemical adaptations and it is going to use uh, metabolic alterations to keep itself balanced because it wants to save you from any stupid decisions on this side. That's its job and it's really, really good at it. So, I guess what I want to say is your body is a biochemical beast. No more, no less. Um, so it will decide when to make excess fat based on all this. It will decide where to store it. It will decide from where to release it. First, you have no say in that. So eat smart, exercise wisely, get enough sleep, and quit stressing over everything. And your body will thank you in many, many wonderful ways.
Okay? So I'll see you in the next video. And um, have a great day. Bye for now.